Hey everyone, the video you're about to watch is another opportunity to win this lightsaber. This is our viewer choice mix and match lightsaber where you, the viewer, chose the pieces for the lightsaber and now you have a chance to win it. We're going to give it away at 500 subscribers and all you have to do is to subscribe, make your subscriptions public, and like and comment on this video for a chance to win. Good luck everyone. Hey everyone, Theme Park DNA here. Man, I am excited. As you can tell from this right here, one of these things is not like the other. This is very different than my normal unboxing videos because this is my first Saber Forge lightsaber. I'm super excited, so let's just get into it. Man, this box is all kinds of eat up. Thanks, FedEx. Excited. I have been um, kind of scoping out Saber Forge's website for quite some time now, but everything I wanted was constantly out of stock. And I know that you know what I'm talking about. So it was frustrating. Um, and lately, though, things have been coming in stock a lot more often. Um, if we can just get these shipping times a little better, um, I think that I would order more. Got a um, blade retention wrench. I don't know if it's the same size, but it probably, I'm guessing it is. We have a charger. This looks just like a Samsung charger. While it even has the same adaptive fast charger, it just doesn't say Samsung on the end. They got that from the same company that Samsung gets their chargers. Funny. This is different though. Nice looking blade. It's got threads on the inside here. And it looks like they used some hot glue to keep the diffusion wrap in place. There's a lot of layers of diffusion paper in here. That's good. Blade's got a nice, nice thick blade. It's almost heavy duty. I think it's probably halfway between the mid-grade, the uh, Ultra Saber's mid-grade to heavy grade, or maybe even three quarters. It's a nice sturdy blade. That's it. All right, for those of you who haven't recognized it yet, this is a Saber Forge Disciple. It looks a lot like the Acolyte, except for it has the leather wrap and I am digging it. All right, we will go through this whole thing first. Saber Forge, ready. Pull out our kill key. Oh, that's nice. All right, so this is a, uh, I probably should have said it before I fired it up. This is a, a veteran tier soundboard. So. For anyone who's not familiar with Saber Forge, and I had to do my homework myself, there are several different tiers in their, their sabers. So this saber is an, it falls in the apprentice tier. They starts with Echo, goes up to Shoto, Apprentice, Elite, Crystal, and then Exotic. And they go up each tier as it goes up, it goes up in price and generally speaking, they get larger. So this is gonna be right in the middle. I didn't want something so small that I couldn't possibly two hand it, but I did, I still wanted something uh, manageable one handed also. And this seems like it fits the bill for me. Perfect. Um, comfortably have two hands on here, short of the, the emitter here. Nice little choke. We'll, we'll go over all that in a minute. The Saber Forge comes with a blade plug. Man, stoked. So, 
Let's um let's start at the pommel like we normally do, huh? Alright, naturally this is a sound saber. So I wanted to uh, to see what their sound <laughs> sounded like. <laughs> it's terrible. Um so I got the veteran tier electronics. So if you're unfamiliar, then the the warrior tier is just a stunt saber. Um, and there's one below that where you can basically get an empty hilt. Um, and then up from there is the, like I said earlier, the warrior, which is the stunt. Then there's the veteran, which is what this is, which is their basic sound. And it goes up from there. And so this comes standard with a cover tech wheel. And it is a really good cover. It's a good looking cover tech wheel. So we've got a cover tech wheel here. It's got really nice placement. It's really low, close to the pommel. It's a very good looking cover tech wheel. I like the design in it. It's just not plain. So this Sabre came standard with a cover tech wheel. Um, it also came with a leather wrap and there was a lot of colors to choose from, but I just wanted black. I wanted something simple but I did want the leather wrap. They, Sabre Forge does have several models that has a leather wrap. It's very well applied. The glue looks to be fairly even. Nice placement of the cover tech wheel here to cover where the wrap starts. Very, I'm, I'm gonna have to think of that in the future when I start doing my leather wraps. It looks to be very evenly applied and then they tuck the tail inside the top of the wrap. That looks great. So they started here at the top, covered up the tail, and ended up right here, and then covered the, the end of it with the cover tech wheel. That looks great. So if you're not familiar with this, this is a kill key. And so this is gonna be... This is gonna be the recharge port. And the, the downside to this is that if you don't put something in there to completely shut off the power, it will slowly drain the battery. So that is the purpose of the kill key. This is just a plastic one. Um, I think I will be purchasing a metal one to kind of upgrade that a little bit. Moving up right above, we just have a single button switch here, which is illuminated as you notice to match the blade. Got a really nice looking choke point right here and not, not quite thin neck, but still very nice as a choke point. This would be a natural place to hold this one handing or even two, except for this cover tech wheel is kind of in the way. I like to try to hold it with my fingers away from the button you just gonna have to move your hand up, but this is a great place for holding this one-handed. Um, I didn't even talk about numbers yet. It's got a very nice slender feel to it. Um, it of course is more slender than the Ultra Sabers. And I don't mean to compare these, it's just what I know. So forgive me for comparing them. I'm not trying to, I'm not gonna say one is better than another because it comes down to personal preference. Um, and I'm sure but someone will a lot of someone will share their personal preference in the comments. Moving up to this emitter, you really can't tell where it ends and begins. I really like it. You got this diagonal slant. Tell you what, we're going to take out this blade plug, which is a really nice looking blade plug. It became so popular they pretty much made it standard used to be there was more choices and there are still choices but this has become kind of the default and it, the name of this blade plug is reactor and if you'll notice it looks very similar to um, iron man's reactor particularly the triangular one in iron man 2 And it's got some arabesque writing in there. Yeah, I knew what that said, but um, I will probably 
look this up and tell you in the comments. So, All right, taking a look at the numbers on this, guys. This is going to be 10.8 inches long. And it's gonna be 1.35 inches wide. Blade plug is made out of a really thick acrylic. Just like the blade is, feels really good. This slant style emitter here, that could sit down in there a little bit better, but I would prefer this to be a little shorter. I might cut this one to fit down in there to where it'd be nice if it sat down below this point. So let's take a look at this emitter. This is a really nice looking emitter. From here, it just looks like it's a 45 degree angle with a couple of windows cut in it and as you rotate it you can see that the side facing you has got this really nice slit cut into it gives it the appearance that it's it's menacing that you could use this as the end of this as a weapon when not ignited yeah i like that i'm i think i am going to cut this down to fit below. All right. That's the saber. Let's put a blade in it. I was kind of curious about these threads here. I'm looking inside here and there's no way to thread to it. So Got a single blade retention screw here, and below that, this appears to be an LED retention screw. Wow. This being not, not really a short hilt, but a little on the shorter side, this is really blade heavy, um, which is fine. You've got this great choke point here, and that'll really, really help on rotations, on quickness of rotations. You can probably see the contrast a little better. I thought this might come to a point a little more, but they've kind of cut it short naturally to keep anyone from hurting themselves from it, which totally makes sense. Um, but it really, and it doesn't really take the menace away from it because you, you don't really notice it unless um, someone points it out. So let's... Saber Forge, the radio. Wow, so we've got three fonts on here, standard on their lowest sound saber tier. That's pretty cool. Saber Forge. Saber Forge. Crimson. Alright, so single. Kind of a blaster block.
I'm gonna get questions about it in the comments, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and talk about it now. This took 11 weeks and four days to get from the, door, from the day I ordered it to the day it arrived on my doorstep. 11 weeks and four days. So in ordering a Saber Forge lightsaber, anything short of RGB or NeoPixel, which they do offer now, there are 18 different LED color choices. So, I really like blue. Most of you know that I really like blue. So I originally ordered this in light blue. Um, I like the Arctic blue, I like the light blue in the original, um, you know, A New Hope. The Saber was a, a light blue. So, I originally ordered this in light blue and then I thought about ordering a, a Fallen Order Mark II and I didn't want them to have the same color. So I'd already made my order in light blue and I sent an email and, and I didn't get a response right away. I had to send several emails and um, I didn't resort to uh, Facebook, the owner, because a lot of people do that and I, I didn't want to have to do that. But they did respond and they were happy to change the color for me. And really, once I got in touch with them, the hard part was getting in touch with them. But once I got in touch with them, they were really, really great about um, changing this to medium blue for me. And so that way in the future, when I get light blue, um, I don't have the same color. And probably more importantly, I can compare the two. So that being said, that's going to do it for the unboxing. I'm going to do a more in-depth review on this, so look for that. That's going to do it for today. Guys, this is going to be a giveaway video, so just like all the other giveaway videos, make sure you subscribe, make your subscriptions public so that I'll be able to see it. And like and comment, let me know what do you think about the Disciple here? What do you think about Saber Forge? What do you think about the giveaway? comment about anything let's keep it clean and um if you can have a chance to win this lightsaber this lightsaber just so that we're clear all right that's gonna do it guys thanks thanks for watching